In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to select easily a range of non-continuous cells. As you know in Excel, when you have all the value of a colon continuous, here in colon A in my example, you press Ctrl down and automatically you reach the last non-empty cell. It's very easy to return to the top, Ctrl up. But here in my example, I've got a problem because I want to make the sum of all the matricules for the year 2008, 9 and 10 and the sum of the colon E. And as you can see in the colon E, they are non-continuous because so if I start to create my function sum if s, and if you don't know how to use the function sum if s, you can click on that link to go on my blog and have a look at the tutorial I made on the function sum if s. So here, sum range, the colon I have to add, it's my colon E. But here, if I select the very first one, E2, and I press Ctrl Shift down to select all the cell, you can see that immediately when I reach an empty cell, my selection is stopped. So it's not a good technique, or it could be very long because we have noticed that there is 15,413 rows. So it's not a good technique. So how I can do the selection of all my data in colon E very easily? To do that, I'm going to use a shortcut F8, because F8, when you press F8, you have now on the status bar extend selection. What's that mean? That means that all the cells I'm going to click now are going to be selected between my first cell G2 and the one I click, for instance, here, or here, or here, like this. So I'm going to use that to be able to select all the cells from E2 and E 15413. I show you. Escape, I start again, equal sum if s, I click on E2, and now I press on F8 to be on extend selection mode, and now I press F5 in order to be able to write the last reference of my colon. So it's E15413, enter, and magic, because I'm in extant selection, I have selected all the cells from the first one to the last one. So after F4 for my selection, and then I just have to finish to write my function sum if to have the result. 